Hi, I'm Rich Radke, a professor in the Department of Electrical, Computer, and Systems Engineering at Rensselaer Polytechnic Institute in Troy, New York. I put together this series of mini lectures on engineering probability to complement the class that I'm teaching at RPI, but other people may find it useful too. First off, what is probability and why do we care? Probability is a study of random experiments, situations where you don't always get the same outcome every time. This has lots of real world applications from financial markets to product reliability to medical testing. And here, we're particularly interested in electrical and computer engineering applications of probability, like machine learning, communication systems, and signal processing. In these cases, the randomness often comes from some sort of noise in the system, like thermal noise, atmospheric interference, background noise, or audio compression. Probability will help us give well-founded answers to questions like, what's the probability that three of my backup servers fail on the same weekend? How many charges is my phone battery good for? How vulnerable is my system to a denial of service attack? Does this picture contain a person's face? Does a patient have a disease given that the test came back positive? A lot of times we can abstract these kinds of problems into a pretty good mathematical model for how a system works. So probability involves a lot of math. To understand the material I'm going to talk about, you should be comfortable with derivatives and integrals for one and two variables from calculus. Probability gives us the mathematical basis for modeling and predicting the likelihoods of events. This isn't quite the same as statistics, which is more concerned with analyzing data from observations. So in these lectures, you're going to see mostly math and not a lot of tables of numbers. Although towards the end of these lessons, I will talk a little bit about how different uh, applications of probability can be used to analyze real world data. Let me say a little bit about the form of these lessons. I tried to keep them to 10 minutes or less, each focusing on one important concept, although a few of these went over by just a couple minutes. You can use the YouTube controls to play these at about 1.5 speed, and I think you should be fine. And of course, you can always slow things down if I go through something too fast, because I know I tend to talk a little bit fast sometimes. Not all the lessons are going to look like this. Generally, what you're going to see is me writing on a piece of paper in real time with my head down in the corner. As a teacher, I feel like it's useful for you to see me actually putting through the effort instead of just playing a slideshow and writing on top of a bunch of slides. I think this is also a good rate limiter so things don't go by too fast. In some cases, I'll flip to MATLAB or a browser window, like if I want to do an experiment or make a figure that would be tough for me to draw accurately on a piece of paper. While I go over these kind of key concepts of the videos, I think it's still really important to have a book or some sort of printed reference that collects everything into one place. That'll go into a lot more detail, it'll have a lot more examples and problems to test your knowledge. My lectures are generally following this book by Leon Garcia, roughly the first eight chapters. The only way you're going to really learn probability is by doing a lot of practice problems. And luckily, since probability has been around for hundreds of years, it's not too hard to find good ones. I recommend taking notes while you watch these videos so you have something physical to look back at and study from. Once you finish these lessons, you should be in a pretty good position to learn more advanced material. Things like stochastic signals and systems, detection and estimation theory, networking, and pattern recognition and machine learning. So I think that's about it. Let's get started.